Hi, I'm Sifu Grant from Darsana Martial Arts, and in this video I'm going to show you retreating from ground to stand. The first aspect of retreating on the ground is the shoulder walk. To perform the shoulder walk, you need to be able to rotate your shoulder girdle and twist your waist to use the shoulders like feet. Roll one shoulder back and push your weight onto it following with your feet as you retreat backward. As your skill improves, you'll be able to pick up the pace. The next aspect is a circle sit-up using a sliding post. Reach your hand out diagonally and twist your body up as you slide the hand towards you. When retreating on the ground, we'll only come up to the elbow, placing our weight in the elbow and posting one foot to slide our hips back. Once you've slid your hips back, rise up into a full seated posture. We practice three seated guards, each with a different tactical advantage. The elbow behind the knee with the hand loaded for striking or blocking. A shielding arm for added protection and coverage. Or a high horizontal arm focused on attacks coming from above. Also note that the low leg floats, keeping it free to kick while the other foot remains posted for stability and movement. Simply extending the leg while seated isn't enough. You want to lift the hips and shift forward to thrust the kick. The next element is the butt scoot, which is how we retreat in a seated position, using the rear hand and front posted leg to float the hips and slide our body back. A common mistake is to lift the body too high off the ground and then drop back down, which is wasted movement, makes you slow, and is uncomfortable. The next aspect is the three-point stand. Lift your hips from the ground just enough so that you can thread your knee back by gently sliding it across the ground. Bring your knee to your wrist, replacing your wrist as your support and pivot on the knee by turning your hips. Plant the balls of your feet firmly. If you're on your toenails, then your foot will fishtail. Then step your lead foot back to complete the three-point stand. As you retreat into the three-point stand, bring your lead foot in to help you create more distance in the backward motion. As you improve, you can pick up the pace. Next, we look at getting all the way up from the ground in the complete tactical stand. Turn your hips and twist on the balls of your foot in both feet so that the feet can accommodate the spiraling motion of the torso. This twisting motion is much more efficient than trying to press yourself up to stand. Thanks for watching. Now go practice.